known as humanity, the Black Death, which literally decimated Europe. So, you know, two thirds of Europe was uh, wiped out, if you like, by the Black Death in the 14th century. And, and so the people in Europe uh, felt, well, you know, what, what are the things we can do to, uh, to live with such a situation? And so spices from the East were an option. It, it, people thought, well, they, this is one way of protecting themselves from uh, the, getting sick and dying from the plague. So they, this is why they had this hunger for, you know, spices like cloves and cinnamon and fennel. And this was, I mean, the, let's, let's just say they used it because they felt that this is one way of protecting them. But, uh, you know, that, that's, that's just a cultural understanding. So, you know, as you can see, uh, the, this had a very deep historical significance also in, in making people, well, see what can they do in, in these uh, pandemics. But it was also, cinnamon was used a lot for meat preservation. So th that picture there is just to show you some of the things that, that in the Wellcome collection, it's a, it's a museum in London. Uh, Wellcome is one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies or one of the oldest ones too. And you can see this cinnamon there, there's, uh, a eucalyptus nut, some cloves, lemons, and, and there's uh, rosemary and thyme in the back. And uh, I'm not quite sure what's in the bottle, but it's, it's an oil of some sort, obviously. But let's go a bit forward. So, you know, after the, uh, you know, the, the, the tragedy of the bubonic plague pandemics, if you like, if you like, the Europeans felt, well, we've got to do something. And so, the, if you like, the, the, the time of the, the desire to discover what else is in the uh, unknown world was the real push in which Europeans started navigating the globes. And you can think, well, they sent out one or two or three small ships and they, they traveled all these uh, vast oceans to, to try to discover the unknown. And that opened up a whole chapter in humanity, if you like. So, it, it, so it really what, what was a very important driver of exploration was the desire to find the sources of spices. And they did it because essentially the spices came to Europe uh, through the Arab brokers and they, they charged a fortune. So the, the, the Europeans, well, especially the, the powers at that time, Portugal and Spain, you know, the, the royalty then, they said, well, let's, let's fund our best explorers to, to look for it. So in came Christopher Columbus, and he said, oh, I'll, I'll go find some. And uh, so that was already the, the, the start of the great uh, exploration. But we know that, well, Columbus was supposed to go to the east, but uh, the moment he left Europe, he caught the, the trade winds were such that it didn't allow him to go down Africa. It pushed him to the west, and uh, so he went to uh, you know the, the islands of the Caribbean, and this is what happened. When he went to the Americas, he he was very excited. He brought some spices back, and he thought it was cinnamon. But then, uh, when he brought it back, the people back home in in uh, Portugal said, "Well." It smells nice. It smells like cinnamon, but it doesn't taste very nice. So that was that was the, that was the first uh, lack of success in the in looking for a new source of of these spices. So this brings us next to the next great Portuguese explorer, Vasco da Gama, and Vasco was able to make that voyage uh, properly. He he was able to. Uh, he was he, he was a. Uh, a great sailor who knew how to navigate around the coast uh, of Africa. And then he was able to go down to the southernmost tip of Africa. And once again, it's there to go to look for spices because they really wanted to uh, cut the stranglehold of the Arab traders. So he arrived on, on the west coast of India, which was the heart of the spice trade because there was a lot of trade from India and, uh, and the Arabs. But then towards the end of... Uh, uh, the 1500s, the Portuguese even pushed down to, to Ceylon, to Sri Lanka today. And there they found uh, a very, uh, well, it, the most aromatic uh, cinnamon that we have that we use nowadays. 